Okay, um, Link Data for Libraries uh, is a project we uh, just completed, funded by uh, the Mellon Foundation, a million dollars. Our partners Cornell, Harvard, and Stanford. So we assembled ontologies and created link data and tools to provide relationships to metadata and broad context for scholarly information resources. It's leveraged both Vivo and uh, Hydra work. So the overall vision of the project, and in fact the successor project, uh, enable libraries and their users to easily create, use, and benefit from linked data. Linked data that's either specifically designed for libraries or really taking advantage of broader linked data on the web. Um, so from the initial project, we had a bunch of research outputs. Uh, you can find the um, LD4L ontology, which is a bunch of modifications and extensions to BibFrame, which itself is a bit of a moving target, um, on GitHub. Um, we provided recommendations to the Library of Congress on BitFrame, and they're making ongoing revisions. <coughs> uh, we converted 23 million uh, catalog records, all of our catalog records at all three institutions, to roughly 3 billion triples of resolvable linked data. This is available for download if you want a big bucket of uh, linked data to work with and try stuff out on. Um, at this site, which is also available through the main lbgirl.org site. Uh, there's a demonstration search uh, over all that linked data at search.lbgirl.org. We contributed some uh, code to Hydra, and we demonstrated links to some external web URLs. Um, if you do try to search, it takes a little while to do the initial load. We need to fix uh, the, uh, the faceted job that works. Um, so now we're starting two new projects, um, linked data for libraries labs, which is really tools continuing the initial LBGRL work. A second project, uh, Link Data for Metadata Production, uh, which is focused on uh, actually the process in library technical services organizations of using Link Data for catalog. Um, for P is a collaboration of Stanford and Bob Perkins. Um, so specifically for LBGRL Labs, we're working to create a new mark to bib rate converter. We're working to create new uh, linked data creation and editing tools based on Vitro, which is the software that underlies Vivo. Uh, new hydra-based tools for annotation and other things. Uh, looking to improve discovery and understanding, actually take advantage of the linked data we created in the first project. And then pilot tools and services to support <coughs> URI resolution and reconciliation. <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> a lead for P. So the, each of the six partners um, has a specific project. Uh, Stanford's uh, converting cataloging workflows. Columbia's working on cataloging art objects. Uh, Cornell's doing hip hop collection. Harvard cartographic materials. Library of Congress, audiovisual and sound. Uh, and Princeton doing annotated work on uh, the library of Dr. So, now the more ranty section of the talk, uh, nine challenges and opportunities that linked data poses for repository managers and developers. So, really critical, you need to think outside the bibliographic record. When you're working with linked data, you don't have a record, you have a network of information. So here I have two faculty members with all sorts of interrelated entities describing the course that they co-taught, publications that they shared, projects they work with, None of this forms a metadata record for either one. I mean, I can assemble a, a bunch of information, but it's really a network of interlinked information. So rid your mind of the idea that you have a, a metadata record. So you can connect to external linked data resources on the web for additional context to aid discovery and understanding. We cataloged a hip hop flyer here. We've got Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. I can link that to a contemporaneous release of the group on music brains, using linked brains. By using linked data, you can avoid being limited in the future to answering only questions that were anticipated when the repository was created. <laughs> this was a driver for the BNF when they created their uh, linked data approach. Linked data is extensible. You can extend the existing ontology or incorporate new ontologies. By representing linked data in Sparkle, you get extremely powerful query capabilities. So think about how others outside of the library community can take advantage of the linked data represented in your repository. Don't just think about libraries, think about the global web. Okay, how do you become part of the linked data cloud? How do you let people build on 
and take advantage of the work that you're doing. Another challenge, how can linked data help you support connected objects distributed across multiple repositories so that they can be presented seamlessly to the user? The IIIF uh, example with the medieval manuscripts is sort of the poster child for this, where you may have pages from a single manuscript across a bunch of different repositories, you can even have fragments of the same page. You want to be able to assemble these things and not just think of your own repository, but how do you use linked data to integrate uh, information from a variety of repositories? Interlinking repositories and researcher profiling systems like Vivo can lead to a full comprehensive ecosystem representing all of the scholarly activity. So the Deep Carbon Observatory at RPI is, is a great example of this. They have a data repository, they have Vivo profiles, they provide essentially the full sort of researcher context for how the data was created, the project, the publications, all together. Seven, how can linked data enhance connections between repositories and more traditionally controlled authorities for library resources? Work with your technical services groups. Identifier management is key. You need local URIs so that you can make local assertions about things, but you need relationships to appropriate global URIs. There are a couple of IMLS funded projects that are starting to work on this area on making linked data local authorities and global authorities available. Again, don't make your repository a silo. Using linked data URIs makes it easy for repositories to support international multilingual applications. Here I've got uh, your Glasen, which is Hourglass, I believe, in Dutch, and I can use the URI to get to all the Hourglass places. Finally, linked data descriptions can make your repository's contents more visible and discoverable on the open web. I uh, quote from Dan Brickley, in nearly 18 years of work on RDF, I've never seen adoption like this for schema.org. It's a breakthrough of linked data and RDF in the mainstream computing search and discovery. There's the team, and there is the URL for a lot more information.